Hash hash. Unraveling the ambiguous ending. Leave the world behind and the thrill of the unknown. The unsettling world of Leave the World Behind hangs heavy in both the film and the novel, leaving audiences grappling with the unknown and yearning for answers. While the Netflix adaptation cranks up the explicitness, it's the book's masterful ambiguity that truly sparks confusion and curiosity. Both mediums withhold definitive explanations about the calamity that has disrupted civilization. The audience, like the characters, is left piecing together clues from fragmented information and subtle hints. One key strategy employed by author Ruman Alam is foreshadowing. Archie's gruesome loss of teeth in both versions is a chilling premonition, but the book goes further, hinting at the young boy's tragic fate. This detail, absent in the film, adds a layer of bleak certainty to the ambiguous ending. But the novel's horrors extend beyond Archie's demise. Clay's tingle in his knees, his elbows, and the quick mention of Rose's mother succumbing to cancer in a tent camp outside an airport paint a picture of a world ravaged by a mysterious sickness, possibly linked to the sonic blasts. This body horror is largely absent from the film, which focuses instead on the interpersonal conflict between the characters. The characters themselves are also fleshed out differently in the two versions. Danny, the gruff contractor, is less of a caricature in the book, lacking the conspiratorial edge Kevin Bacon brings to the film. This shift in portrayal emphasizes the film's focus on amplifying discord and mistrust, while the novel delves deeper into the shared human experience of fear and uncertainty. Perhaps the most striking difference lies in the way the book and film handle information. The novel presents a tapestry of fragmented stories, a man trapped in an elevator, babies dying in a NICU, a mother's desperate act, offering glimpses into a global catastrophe without revealing its full scope. This approach allows the reader to imagine the larger picture, piecing together the horror from the individual shards. In contrast, the film leans toward a more concrete explanation. G.H.'s speech about a cyber attack and societal breakdown provides a plausible theory, albeit one that remains unconfirmed. The shift towards a clearer narrative direction might leave some viewers wanting more, yearning for the same space for interpretation offered by the novel. Ultimately, both the film and the novel of Leave the World Behind succeed in creating a world of unsettling ambiguity. The lack of definitive answers is not a failure, but a deliberate choice that compels the audience to engage actively, to confront the unknown and fill in the blanks with their own imaginations. This engagement with the text, the act of actively participating in the construction of meaning, is perhaps the most thrilling and thought-provoking aspect of the entire experience. So whether you're a reader who thrives on the open-ended possibilities of the novel, or a film viewer seeking a more structured narrative, leave the world behind offers a unique and unsettling journey into the depths of human fear and resilience in the face of the unknown.